Welcome to our channel of Skills Path Networks. Our slogan is that you learn more, you teach more. When you learn, then you go to teach another. So now we are going to the lesson directly without wasting the time. At the previous lesson, we talked about the effect of concentration on the rate of chemical reaction. And then we have to make this description more understandable by I think you have watched it. So but now we are going to teach another the effect, another factor affecting the rate of chemical reaction. We are going to talk about the temperature on how affect the rate of chemical reaction. So I beg you we are supposed to be together here to look more to understand on how you can perform the experiment of the chemistry practical. Remember that our topic is chemical kinetics. The effect of temperature also affects the rate of chemical reaction. And uh, this effect, either concentration and the temperature, affect you are supposed to understand it on two ways. You are supposed to note the to make more understanding that on how how temperature in which way it means we are going to look the temperature when increase how is going to affect the rate of chemical reaction and uh, another way is on how when temperature decrease how is going to affect the rate of chemical reaction that is you are supposed to note on your mind. So we are going to look on two ways. The first one by decreasing decreasing temperature. Temperature. And then the second way by by increasing Temperature. We can take a simple, for example, let's say you want to boil water on a flame and uh, can take some various minutes to boil water or can be fast to take a few time that water to be boiled. So it means when you reduce the intensity of the flame, it means your water is going to be slow or take a long time to boil. It means that water to be boiled will take a long time and the, the reaction will be slow. And when you increase the intensity of the flame, it means your water is going to be boiling at a short time. It means the reaction or the boiling, the process of boiling will take it fast. That is the concept of rate of chemical reaction with the temperature. So there is a, when you are going to, to make the reaction, you can take it chemicals, let's say sodium thiosulfate, sodium thiosulfate, and you mix with the hydrochloric acid in aqueous solution. So when you mix at a high temperature, it's going to be, to be take place, the reaction take place at a fast time, at a short time. But when is it cold, it will be slow or will take a long time to take the reaction to take place. But when the, these solutions are hot, hot, hot station or state, then the reaction will go at a short time. 
that is a concept of rate of chemical reaction. So these chemicals of sodium prosulfate and the hydrochloric acid can be used on the rate of chemical reaction. So in order to perform this experiment of in order to know the effect of temperature on the rate of chemical reaction, you're supposed to have a thermometer. This is thermometer. And you're supposed to have, you can say, a flame, and you're supposed to have two solutions in a beaker. And that one, this experiment performed in two different ways. One, you can, you can heat one solution. Let's say sodium phosphate can be heated to initiate the temperature in that solution. So the important way or the process of heating the sodium phosphate we're supposed to use a water bath, like this one. This is water bath. The solution is there inside. This one. This sodium sulfate. This is water bath. Then you are going to initiate the heat of your... That is on how to record the temperature. It means you're going to record on a thermometer how it's going to, to be. Then after you mix it with the after each, after reaching at the temperature you need, let's say now it's going to read really 30 then you mix with HCl when you mix HCl is going to take the reaction you can put X so when X is invisible, it means the reaction will take place. Then you are going to have a stopwatch to record the time. Like this one, you set it, then you stop. That is a chemical reaction. Another way of performing this experiment of to know the effect of temperature, we can use by heating both solutions, between sodium, sulfate, and the HCl, or another chemicals which you are going to use in order to know the chemical reaction. It means you take this one, you put in water bath, you put in water bath, then you take your thermometer, you put in one solution, Make sure all solutions are inserted in water bath at the same time. Then you are going to, to initiate the, the heat. So our flame is, is not good. You can use gas or gas burn. This is the speed burn. So the test of heat is not high. That is the demonstration. So we can we can heat one solution, that is one, or we can heat both the solution between those reactants in order to mix it to get the, the reaction which is the product. That is how we can perform experiment. But now let's go to know how temperature affected in reality we show the graph 
by showing the graph, we know the reaction will take a time, and the, the time we are going to get the rate of chemical reaction. So let's go to show you how temperature affects the rate of chemical reaction. So by looking this one, this is table performed the experiment according to my procedure, my procedures shown here on previous steps. So now I'm going to, to see on how temperature affects it and how you can answer those questions involving with it, this experiment. When we look, we have temperature, we have time recorded, we have rate of one over time, which is the rate of chemical reaction. It means we have said it, we are looking with decrease and the increase. It means the reaction you have against the time and against the, the rate of chemical reaction. And in order to understand this one, you can look the value. It means now the temperature increase. The temperature increasing. So let's see the graph of that decreasing or increasing. By starting with temperature against the time, there's time which is T. This is temperature in Celsius. You can see temperature against time. The highest time is 20, 22. 22. The lowest is 8. 8. Sorry. This is time. Sorry. The highest is 7. The, the, the lowest temperature is 40. And here the lowest is 8 time, now is 22. So we want to see the nature of the graph in order to, to understand more how temperature affects the rate of chemical reaction or against by considering the time and the, that rate. It means from 40 to 70, it means the reaction, the temperature is increasing. But when you look at the time, it means the higher the temperature take a short time to take place. As I have said there, when you increase the intensity of heat, it means that we say water will, will take a short time to be boiled. That is it. The same with this one. It means we take a short time to be to take place. It means eight with seven, this one. And the 25, 22 is 40 here. Actually, you see the nature is going to, to be inverse proportion. It means when this, when this is going to decrease, or when temperature increase, it's going to increase. It means the time decrease. The time is going to decrease, but the temperature increases. So it's inverse proportional to time to each other. So when the temperature increases, the time decreases. And when the te when temperature decreases, the time increases. That is temperature against the time. Let's go to the, to see the rate of chemical reaction and the temperature. It means the rate of chemical reaction 0 0.05, which is lowest, 0 0.05, and the highest is 1, 0 0.13. This is 1 over, over T, which is red. So 40 for this one. And this one or the, this one. 
So when you see your graph is going to be direct proportion. That is it. That is the nature of the graph. So by writing the graph, it means the temperature is directly proportional to the rate of chemical reaction. It means when this increase, also we see now here, the value increase 0 0.05, 0 0.09, 11, 1, 3, 1, 3. That is it, how temperature affects the rate of chemical reaction. I think now by using this one methods you can perform experiment by using another chemicals you can use nitric acid instead of HCl or hydrochloric acid and the sulfuric acid you can perform experiment or other advanced you use in potassium permanganate to disappear purple color that also can be used in rate of chemical reaction Thank you for listening to this lesson. We meet you on other lessons. Thank you.